I don't have all of my shots mapped out yet. The ones I do have are, are the ideal times for most photographs are, are early morning or late afternoon. Uh, the light is more interesting, the natural light. And uh, I want to get as many shots as possible done, but I, I probably will be able to shoot fewer than any of the other photographers because I'm using an 8x10 view camera, which is quite something to, <laughs> to maneuver. So uh, I'm going to have about three assistants, and I'll use probably two cameras. So I'll have an assistant advancing and going out and getting things initially set up so that I can speed things up a little bit and get, get more shots. I'll shoot a minimum of four sheets per shot. That's the absolute minimum that I would, would shoot. And then they're, they're processed individually. So usually I expose the four sheets about the same and they're processed singly then to make sure that they're exactly right when the second sheet can be adjusted in the film processing. Along with Jim McCrary, Kathleen Persoff decided to use a view camera for a portion of her day, although her approach could almost be called large-scale still life. I have so much of a heavy art background. Uh, I think that that influences me a lot as far as my design and my lighting, especially for the still lifes. I think that that's, that's probably what, what influences me the most that and just an interest in still life work. You have to plan very much. I think I've, I've talked to several of the other photographers and everyone is planning their day very carefully. It will be a long day, but again, people that are doing things outside, the time of day and the lighting is very important. So I will have a very tight schedule as far as certain areas that I want to be at a certain time. I don't, I don't feel in competition with the other photographers at all. I'm just anxious to see what they wind up doing because I think with the six of us in our six different areas, no matter, even if we were all photographing the same attraction or the same area, I'm sure that you would get six different interpretations of that. Um, when I think of someone like George Long with his uh, tight action shots and the excitement of that kind of frozen moment compared to uh, Charles' fashion, I, th I think they'll be totally different. I think the thing that stands out the most to me is the element of fantasy for children. Uh, there's so many amusing, wonderful, whimsical elements to Disneyland, and I think that's why children always love it here, and they always keep coming back. Uh, that idea of knowing that it's a fantasy and knowing that characters like Mickey Mouse are a fantasy, but they still want to believe in them. And I'd like to bring some of those elements into the photography that I do here. Cinderella, hold still. Here we go. In addition to Kathleen Persoff's dramatic shot of Cinderella's castle, Craig Arness, Charles William Bush, George Long, Jim McCrary and John Zimmerman made 10,637 separate exposures, totaling 411 rolls of film, plus a large amount of sheet film, with each exposure reflecting a highly personalized view of the Magic Kingdom during this Focus on Disneyland.